here's the thing about planting is there's a season mm -hmm. you know you don't plant in October and so if there's something that you're feeling impressed <laughs> upon to take hold of right now it could be that this is the moment Well, hi, I'm Dawn from The Manuel Mom, and on Sunday mornings, a privilege to have my twin sister Diana here with us, and oh, we take... That's new. You is said that nice? privilege. Yeah. I, I like think that. you're growing in status. Aw, <laughs> <That's right>. thanks. <laughs> I have coffee. a really good story again, too. I'll tell you why I'm overdressed for our Sunday yeah. morning, and uh, we'll throw that in at the end. Maybe. Absolutely. Okay. And yeah, it's been kind of a, a cra I don't know, crazy week, for lack yeah, of a full. better word, mm -hmm. a good week. Um, so on Tuesday, I announced that we were starting a private Facebook group. Yep. And so basically you pay a membership fee and then you get access to a private group. And with the idea being that, I mean, I've wanted to start a group like this for a long time. Mm -hmm. And just so I could have more interaction with you, the comments are great, but they're a little bit limiting. Um, but I really like, I wanted to see your pictures and I yeah. wanted to see like what's going on at your house. And I wanted to celebrate with you when you, you know, make a big trip to the donation center and to just to have more interaction. So then now we're able to have this membership group or this Facebook group with membership where everyone's paying, you know, a little bit of a monthly fee and it's allowing me to dedicate the time to this that I wouldn't have been able to otherwise. And this is something for some of us, this is a new concept, mm -hmm. you know, so it might seem a little out of left field. Um, there's actually quite a few content creators that do something like this again, mm -hmm. just to be able to allow that dedicated time mm -hmm. to a group of people and really, you know, walk through this and be able to instruct and and yeah, help them, so. and that was my hope was like let's just gather a group of people that are like in the trenches I know it's not for everybody but mm -hmm. for those of us who are like you know what enough is enough I want one year from now I want my house to be completely different yeah and it's really fun to be running alongside people that are trying to achieve that same yeah. goal and I can't believe how I'll, just already in this I mean it's been five days I think um, like the camaraderie that's building and how everyone is encouraging each other, um, sharing their wisdom, sharing their experiences, their ideas, like we just brainstorm. And even just hearing this, I mean, stories of if you lost close loved ones, I mean, and how difficult that can mm -hmm. be, um, that we can come around them now. Well, I and I know someone did share a story of a really difficult loss. <laughs> And, uh, you know, we haven't necessarily experienced that mm -hmm. firsthand, no. but there's people in the group who have. Mm -hmm. So it's really fun to see then how they're able to help offer ideas. And so the collective wisdom and the collective support. Yeah, it's, it's just yeah. really cool. Yeah. So, and I know again, like Dawn, you really wrestled with this because you're, oh. especially your personality and your heart for people would never to do anything that limits, mm -hmm. you know, contact or exposure. Cause I mean, you've been doing this for over a year now, just for free, free yeah you know, just to be yeah. helpful and so right and and that's what I, and that's what I've really gone back I mean part of me wanted to close the group on Friday and just be like we have the sweetest group of people here right now I I just want to like have them be my close friends and like not let you know anyone else in and then I'm like but yet I know there's more friends that could benefit from this type of group and so we will keep it open um, through Monday night but yes uh, so earlier in the week it was funny I would go to a coffee shop early in the morning Tom was watching the kids so I could work on getting everything set up there's kind of a lot of moving parts and I was so excited about it and then when it came to actually posting it and posting the video where I was announcing it I the two days before that I thought I was gonna throw up all day long and I almost yeah. didn't do it because I knew there'd be pushback right I knew there'd be, be people that don't quite grasp the idea who they're not in a season where it's appropriate to them so they don't yeah. see the value you know they're yeah. like why would I do that um, and so I knew there would be just some pushback on it and so I really almost didn't yeah. do it and I mean luckily you've seen I have sweet sweet people around me a support system that are like are you kidding like why yeah. you you have to do this like people need this and yeah and this is for this season you know again it's a way to just get to walk with people a lot more closely what I love too is if you do sign up like you can quit at any time mm -hmm. so you can get you're like okay I got what I needed or oh okay this wasn't really what I thought it was yeah. or whatever and I love that you're really open-handed with it it's not like nope it's a one-year membership like it really is just the heart behind it and I think you can hear that coming through is just really like okay how can I realistically dedicate more time to this because otherwise you're full-time 
real estate, mm -hmm. you know, full-time mom, four kids and all that. And so, um, so this is the mode for this season. We'll see what happens. And so far it's been a lot of fun. It's so. been, it's been really cool. And so we are going to keep the registration open until Monday night at midnight. So through, well, depending on when you, um, watch this. So we'll, we'll have all the details in the description down below. So we would like to include a few more friends, but then we are going to close it off. And, um, so that we really can just, I think just that feels like a safe place and we can yeah. get to know each other better and um, really have good interaction. Well, and what I love, I mean, so Dawn's just like living out this uh, message that I'm going to be uh, speaking at my church this weekend. And so I have my clipboard. Was, <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> I was working on my notes, okay? So this way I can take them with me anywhere. Um, but really the verse though that I'm like anchoring the message in is Ecclesiastes 11 through 4. I have never spoken out of Ecclesiastes in my <laughs> life. But it's just, it's an awesome passage because it says, whoever watches the wind will not plant and whoever looks at the clouds will not reap. And so the idea here, obviously, if you think back to um, being on your grandpa's farm or I don't know, someone you know who farms, the idea is uh, if you're looking at the wind, you're not going to plant because if the wind is against you and you start scattering your seed, it's actually going to like blow back in your face and not go where you want it to go. And if it's time to harvest and you're looking at the clouds and you're thinking, wow, it looks pretty great, could rain at any time, you're not going to reap. Mm -hmm. And so I felt like Dawn was kind of living that <laughs> out, you know, where she's like, okay, I'm ready to, I'm ready to plant these seeds that I feel like is for this season and what I'm supposed to be doing. But the wind is kind of at me right now, you know, and so to have then the courage not to look at what's happening around you. And what's really interesting about the wind um, is that it changes even from day to day, right? So like today here in Minnesota, it's actually very windy. It's October. We're in that midst of changing seasons. And so like today it would be really easy to be like, nope, I'm not supposed to do this. You know, it must not be the right season. Or then tomorrow, you know, we'll get a nice sunny day. The wind will come from the other way. And it's, have you noticed that? Like, you'll get this idea. Like, you're yeah, like, oh, right. Because the sun's shining. And, yeah, and you're yeah. like, this is going to be awesome. Right. And then the next day, your hair is plastered back. And you're like, what was I thinking? <laughs> and so the trick is learning not to be moved by, like, the world, the natural world around mm -hmm. you. You know, and this can look like a lot of things. I mean, especially a lot of times if you're going to try and do something new or, or really take hold of something that you feel like you're supposed to um, a lot of times have you found this where all of your past failures or insecurities or you know inadequacies are at just the front of your mind mm -hmm. you know and so that can be like a form of wind that comes against us or um, you know or then that's the week that the kids get sick and the car breaks down and the dog runs away yeah. <laughs> you know and yeah. so there's a muscle and there's a skill but mostly there's an act of faith there mm -hmm. of not being moved by the wind and so I can't believe even I mean you know now like uh, with the impeachment talks and things like yeah. that and uh, I mean I do try to keep distance from the news knowing that if anything mm -hmm. really important happens I yeah. do find out but it's amazing how even just like things like that how it does it make you feel unsettled a little bit that's a great you know? example of the wind or the clouds you know because and so it's like maybe maybe this is a time where I need to be like hunkering yeah. down and shoring up not yeah. starting something new if, if everything's yeah. so uncertain around us right oh, now I mean, you work in real estate so you know mm -hmm. there's talk about like we're overdue for a recession yeah you know or there's shootings that are very real I mean that's a very real form of violence and terror and so those kinds of things actually I think those can be a little more subtle happening around us where that can cause us to feel again yeah like we're not safe or this isn't good timing mm -hmm. I just need to kind of protect what I have mm -hmm. and obviously there, there's wisdom you know our dad actually is a farmer and it's time to harvest the beans right now you're, you're just watching them Don showed some pictures there's you're watching them there's just this gradient over the field of from green to yellow and uh, that's when it's time to harvest the beans but we've had the rainiest um, year ever in Minnesota. Did mm -hmm. you know that? Most rainfall ever. And so you can't possibly get in the field to harvest beans right now. Right. You know? And so there's wisdom to practice. You don't want your tractor stuck in the middle of the field. <laughs> but... I think most of us are probably more moved by the wind than we are, 
you know, just the actual wisdom of the moment. Mm -hmm. And so, um, having people around you is really important. Yeah. Being grounded in the word. Yeah. And I mean, this is a time, especially when you start talking about political season and all that, we just have to be grounded on the word of God. But Um, Diana, we also need to share your testimony of your, another checklist you made. Well, this is so funny. So last weekend I shared the story of how I actually made a list of the character traits that we were looking for in our nanny because we were having a really difficult time finding someone that we trusted and I mean the Lord just provided the most beautiful woman in the whole world and I just could kiss her every day like I'm just so (laughs) thrilled I'm so thrilled and she lives in our neighborhood and she's experienced and she's gonna help me be a better mom and it's just an angel of the Lord and so okay so this just happened in my life right and I'm telling you guys all about it and we're all and the stories actually in the comments were great too I really appreciate it yeah that was cool thank you there too yeah and so um then Princeton and I needed a new receptionist and again we've just been having a hard time attracting quality talent and I was in the middle of phone interviews uh, on Tuesday and then I remembered my own story (laughs) and I was like oh my gosh I mean we've been at this I think over two months three months trying to find the right person and many rounds of interviews and I finally just wrote down actually I sent it in an email to Princeton and I was like before the next phone interview we're going to be in in agreement you know that this is what we're looking for so he replied amen Uh, we had a great phone interview she came in then the two days later for in person just knocked it out of the park we hired her on the spot and so uh, we still have to I mean she's a little more less known so you know we'll wait for the rest of the story but so far all indications are just awesome and I'm just so grateful so it's (laughs) Isn't that funny? My own story, and I just completely forgot. I love that. Oh, we need each other. Yes, exactly. Yeah, we really do. Whether you're decluttering or hiring or... Oh, my goodness. Yeah, Yeah, walking with the Lord. You know, again, and and just, uh, yeah, you need a trusted friend who can say, no, Don, that's just the wind. You know, that's just the wind speaking. Those are past, you know, failures speaking. And and, uh, because here's the thing, I know we're going long, but here's the thing about planting is there's a season. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't plant in October. And so if there's something that you're feeling impressed (laughs) upon to take hold of right now, it could be that this is the moment, you know, and that moment could actually pass. Mm -hmm. You know, and just time, our our lifetime is going to pass. It's a vapor. It's so quick. So now is the time to take hold. You know, now is the time to, to sow your seed don't look at the wind and and just really trust that the lord is going to cover you be with you and then help it grow amen so father i just thank you that you're with us lord god in our questioning in our insecurities lord uh in our wondering if the timing is right or if it's for now lord that you're with us lord and that your peace surpasses lord god any wind any storms anything that that comes to mind about past failures or inadequacies lord god and you're leading us lord god you're strengthening us and you're giving us every provision needed for all that you've called us to so lord i ask right now that courage would rise up in each one of us lord that we would look at what is for this season what are we supposed to take hold of or take responsibility for in this season who could we demonstrate your love to what new initiative could we embark on and who's going to be around us lord bring others around us who will cheer us on and give us godly wisdom and insight and support lord jesus so i bless each of us today and now in jesus name amen